Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. Starting next week, I'm going to go back on posting once a week. I still at the same time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, usually I post on Sundays if you are new. Okay, so today's video card is going to be about how will your future in love will be like so today i have three pals for you this is pile one two and three choose the one you're most drawn to it could be drawn to multiple ones it does not matter but yeah let's start with the first pile hi pile one so let's see how will your future in love will be like at first i thought it would be i would talk about the parents but thinking about it okay take whatever you want um if you want to see this as just the parents uh, or the whole family because in-laws is not just a parent of the person you're marrying. So Take at take it as you will. Okay And by that I mean um, I Want to say that because I may pick on on multiple people's energy. Okay, so that's why I want to mention that as of ages I see somebody that could be born in 84 somebody that could be 48 32 uh, born in 82 28 so again whatever um are those people ages it doesn't have to be the parent ages okay how will your future in love will be like i feel like they will be very welcoming very hope-minded i feel like they want i feel like they're gonna leave each day and see how things go i don't feel like they kind of come with judgments um preconsumed um State of mind, how the quarter. Hmm. Let me clarify this real quick. Let me take another. What is the frag spirit here? Hmm. I feel like whoever you're going to marry. Or to be with, I feel like there is still some issue with this person X, with an X. I feel like the family has an issue with this person X. And I feel like they could be very uh, Virgo energy, Hermit Virgo energy. Um, I feel like they're going to be a little bit... Um, I don't feel like they're going to be closed off, closed-minded when it comes to you. But I feel like there's still an issue with an X. And they're still going to be on guard regarding that ex because I feel like the, there's an ex that could be reappearing or I feel like there's some big major issues and I feel like you're going to hurt of them. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like it really wasn't a good experience. I see a lot of fighting. I feel like, oof. Mm, ten of cups though. Ooh, I feel like the family uh, or in-laws, whatever in-laws mean to you, whatever you want to see in-laws as, like I said, I feel like the in-laws were happy that this person left, okay? Because this person, yeah, her trouble, trouble. This person was trouble. Okay. Card fell. Yeah, this person is all over the place, was or still is. We have the kind of pentacles that fell on the ground. So I feel like this person has money issues. This is funny because the queen of pentacles to me usually is somebody that puts a lot of work, time, effort, energy, especially in some in a relationship. Okay. And a connection. And I don't see this queen like that for right now. So I see this person had money issues and I see a lot of arguing. This person would argue with um this person's family. Okay, this whoever this ex was and it was oof. I don't feel like there was any love because the ace of ones is like really it talks about physical attraction. So I feel like when you're gonna come in the family, I don't feel like they're gonna eat you. I feel like they're gonna fully welcome you with open arms, but they're not gonna hide the fact that there is an ex that they had an issue with and they're gonna let you know for why for what. I don't really know what they're going to, I feel like they're going to let you know. Um, maybe with a lot of shady stuff, shady looks, or I don't know. But you're going to know if they, um, whether they talk about it directly or if this ex's name it, is mentioned. They're going to let you know whether it's verbally or with their eyes that they don't like this person, okay? Um, yeah, okay, damn. Yeah. how 
way you're in love be like. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like they're going to be really happy for you, okay? I feel like they're going to help you. Whatever you need them, their help with this emotionally, financially. But I feel like you don't need anybody's help financially. I feel like you're well off or you're both going to be well off together. I feel like, again, the Ten of Pentacles, whether... Um, Every time the Standard Pentacles comes up, it talks about somebody being, like, left in the past, okay? Seven of Swords, yeah, there was somebody very sneaky, okay? Somebody got their karma. There's somebody that doesn't want to see, to see things for what they are. But on the other end, I feel like from your person side, if you are with this person right now or not, I feel like, um, <clears throat> Scorpion Energy, I feel like this person has put a clear hand to this. That somebody, the other, The other person doesn't want to accept that. Okay, there was a lot of stickiness. Um, this person, whoever this ex was, was really, really rude. Okay, I really... This is funny because I keep on wanting to go back to talking about how your future in-law will be yeah, like. But this ex energy keeps on reappearing for some reason. Oh, I don't feel like... Mm. If this person has been to... If this... Whoever this ex is, I feel like this person is going to show up uninvited like low-key okay maybe they already do do that right now so oof, i don't like this energy yeah queen king of swords Aaron, Julie, Roger, Mary, of course. i see this this person whoever you're planning to be with is still like being cold towards this person but i feel like this ex whoever this ex is keeps on reappearing i feel like the family is cold on them as well like they don't want to have nothing to do with this ex but this ex doesn't give it damn like this, they keep reappearing, okay, for some reason. Okay, anyways, let's push back that energy and talk about your actual in love rather than this ex. Let's see. How will your future in love will be like? I feel like they will be very, like, um, mature. Like, you're going to feel like there's a connection. They're going to want to know you on a deeper level. I feel like they want to, um, you're going to spend a lot of time talking about deep stuff. Okay. Not just like, um, how, like what's your favorite color? What's your name? Like you're going to, they really want to build a, um, emotional connection with you because they want to understand. They want to see why, um, why they you're with this person why this person that you're with loves you and they want to see you how this person sees you as well so i feel like they're going to connect with you on a really like emotional level like not just like oh hey like you're so and so boyfriend you're so and so girlfriend like no like they really want to get to know you you really want to get close with you because if this person is considered like you're considered like your family they're going to consider you like family as well because that's family at the end of the day let's see what else and i feel like yeah they're gonna give you your their blessings eight of cups again not gonna talk about it whether again i see this x energy again i'm just not even gonna mention you guys i'm so sorry about it um as of numbers i just saw, noticed 30 as well for whoever that resonates with but again yes two of cups do you see how connected out your two of really in love okay you are really deep connection and they want to understand it they want to just like get to know you basically okay let's see what else i feel like you made this person already therefore that's why like they want to get to know you better because you could have had a past with this person. We had the King of Cups. We have a couple almost. Okay, Queen of Cups and the King of Cups almost wanted to come out. You could be, um, you both could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't matter. Let's see what else. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they're going to be really patient with you. You're going to see like they don't want to rush things. They're going to invite you to stuff. You're going to spend a lot of time with them. I feel like um, you could be having a deep conversation while hating at a table. And you're just not even going to see the time pass. Because you're going to enjoy your time with them. Um, with this person's family. With this person's in-laws. In okay. Um, they really enjoy spending their time with you. And you're going to see it as well. You're going to enjoy it as well. Um, they're gonna be really patient to get to know you. They're not gonna want to rush things. Okay. Let's see. 
whether it's whether you want to get married to this person or not or whatever you try to do with this person you see that for example if they're just simply inviting you for a dinner family uh, for a family dinner like they're gonna you, you're gonna see how much time they take to to prepare this event whether it's um putting the table making the food um making sure that everybody shows up like you're gonna see that how much time and energy they took about um this little ev event or how big how big a little this event is like you're gonna see how appreciated you are okay let's see what else We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah. I see like this person, whoever those in-laws are, I see just... They're going to see you. They see you as somebody really beautiful. Like you have a lot of... They see you as somebody that has a big heart. And I feel like your family or whoever this... um Could be this person's mom or a very important feminine figure. You're going to see this person as a big heart. And you're going to see... Um, I feel like they're going to love you just like their own children, okay? Whoever this um, feminine energy is. doesn't have to be a woman, but I see this is why, hence, this is why I see feminine energy. Could This, pers could, this person could have um, short hair or curly hair. It doesn't have to be exactly like that, but this person smiles a lot. This person has a big heart, and whatever this person is in the room, there is no way. Like if you, there is no way you're gonna feel uncom uncomfortable. You're you're gonna feel love. You're gonna feel the love. You're gonna feel love. Okay, there. This person's gonna make sure that you're good. Okay, um, like like I said, I feel like this person's gonna treat you like their own children. Whether this is this person's mom or not, they could have little. They could literally have a cat. Maybe this this kind, this color, um, doesn't have to be. Or this person could just be an animal lover. They could love candles as well. Ooh, a knight of swords, and nine of wands. I feel like this person could talk a a lot or really fast and you could be really like um surprised about that okay i feel like it's gonna cut you can't cut you on guard of guard and a full aries energy not of wands but there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fire energy like i feel like this once again those i feel like the, i see the full energy two times here like those person are just gonna like want to get to know you you're gonna see they're gonna put their guards off okay to get to know you and you're gonna see how much effort they're gonna put to get to know you i feel like this family is really well off financially but you see that just you, you're gonna see that yeah you're gonna see that money doesn't buy happiness and it's not because they have money because they're just really close with each other with each other okay money is just money they're not i don't feel like they're materialistic even though they may have they may be really well off but i don't see them bragging okay you're just gonna see that they're gonna put a lot of effort into making you comfortable okay um but you're gonna see that um what with the six they may be really successful whatever success means to you or means to them um you're gonna see that they're really humble okay really humble okay so if they it ends even more why if they hate that ex whoever that ex is is that person then they're really wrong okay i don't know what they did but this ex is something really fishy really um sketch okay but yeah that's it that's what i see for you pal one i hope this wasn't suffer for you and i'll see you guys next time bye guys hi pal two so let's see how well your future and laws will be like like i said for pal one at first i was just going to talk about um this person um parents but in-laws could mean the whole family okay so take this as you will but i just want to mention that because i maybe can't pick up on multiple people's energy okay
so as of numbers ages whatever those may mean 20 okay i see 2013 2017 i see seven years maybe something somebody that is something seven okay i see some 47 somebody that is born in 74 um hmm. i see four years maybe you know this person since four years hmm interesting but how will your future in-laws will be like i feel like they will give you your space with you and your person with your future person or your actual person um covered with spirit hmm. sweet results away i feel like hmm. i feel like you're gonna have their blessings so i bet i feel like they're not gonna be too too involved with you guys okay i just see them keeping contact with their whoever you're dating you're going to date or whoever you are dating right now um but i see just you two leaving you two alone i don't feel like they're gonna mess with you um they're gonna mind their business they're gonna they're not gonna insert themselves into drama or whatever there's arguments okay but you're not you're gonna know that they're gonna they're gonna give you their you're gonna receive their blessings okay but they're just like drama less drama free per people okay um ace of cups yeah again as i said that they're gonna give you their blessings <laughs> ace of cups. let's see I feel like this is the type of people, whether this person has one parent or two parents or whatever the case may be, I feel like this is the type of family where you're never going to see them argue um, in front of everybody. Like you're even going to wonder if they ever argue, okay, because they know um, what, is a, what is the right time to do things, okay, what is the right time and place to do certain things. So they're never going to argue in front of um, people. They're not, they're never just going to hair out people businesses like that, okay? Like I said, they're really drama-free people. And I feel like they really, they really are sweet. Like, to the point that you wonder, like, is there any drama in your family? Like, what is up? Because your family is really sweet. I don't feel like because you want to create drama, you're just, like, intrigued, okay? Let's see what else. How will your future in love will be like? Yeah, I heard they just know how to handle their business like adults, okay? I don't know why I heard that in my head, but that's what I heard, so I'm going to say it. Let's see. Okay, now I just saw, I wanted to focus some more on the numbers of some reason, I saw 27. So for whoever that resonates with, with the Six of Pentacles and the Hermit. Again, Virgo energy. Okay, the cards is the tarot cards just literally reiterates what I was seeing the whole time. Okay, there's there they really are generous. Okay, they're gonna give. They don't care about giving in order to receive. Like whatever you ask them, whether it's time, money, a place to live, whatever they're gonna give it to you. They really are generous. Okay, not just um when it comes to money, um but emotionally as well. Okay, like. You're see you're gonna see that they're gonna support you and wherever you're dating, okay? Um yeah, they're not um not clingy. They're not stingy people. I think that's a word. But you're gonna see they really are to themselves. Again, just like I said, double confirmation that what I was seeing was right. They're really gonna leave you two guys alone and they're really gonna like be about their life, okay? So therefore I don't see you're gonna see them as often like i feel like whew. even i feel like i felt like seeing once a year maybe but even that i feel like this is a lot <laughs> okay i feel like you're just gonna see them here and there or hear about them here and there like they really are like minding their business living their life like they're not gonna um put themselves into you to put you like you know what i mean so yeah let's see let's get one more card from this deck what else do we have? Any other jumpers? Knight of Cups again. I feel like they will be the first one 
the one to take the first step to get to know you okay they're gonna offer you you're gonna see how they're gonna be really nice to you they're gonna offer you something um that's gonna make you really emotionally fulfilled i feel like they're gonna make they may even buy a gift to you to just celebrate you um being with this person because they appreciate you um being with this person because if this person loves you then they love you as well okay um but other than that just just gonna be like like about your life basically let's see what else do we see Ooh, the world fixed energy Leo Taurus Scorpio Aquarius hmm I feel like whenever you're gonna come, this person will feel like you are, how can I put it? It's as if there was always something missing in the family. And when you family comes, it's like the, the one thing that was missing, okay? Um, I feel like um, whenever you're gonna meet them, um, they're gonna see, they're gonna tell you like, now the family is full, okay? Now the family is whole, okay? Um, I feel like they're gonna tell you that a lot or you're just gonna feel that energy like really present whenever you're gonna meet them, whenever you're gonna see them. Let's see. You see, yeah, they really are independent people, really. But they're not clingy, they're not stingy, like they're gonna help people out, okay? They just like really are independent. But whenever people need their help, need help, they're gonna help those people without any judgment. Okay, let's see what else. We don't have any jumpers. What else do we have going on for my pal? Two people. We have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, King of Swords, like I said, they're gonna they really maybe they live really far off. I feel like they believe in a certain religion. Okay, you're just gonna see hmm. maybe they really live far off, or they just really like once again. They really like to themselves, okay? I feel like maybe they travel a lot or they just like really just are to themselves. Page of Swords though. I feel like they, those people are really educated. I feel like those people are really smart. But again, I don't feel like they see them as better than everyone. They just are, um, they just know how to mind their business. Page of Swords, yeah, they're not really the best communicator. I don't feel like it's because they hate people. They're just not used <laughs> to talk to a lot of people. Or they're not really, they don't really socialize with people like that. Okay. I don't feel like it's because they hate you or they just hate people. They're just hard used to be independent, to be with themselves. So, yeah. But you're going to see they appreciate you. Okay. They want to show you love. Okay. They're gonna let you know that they're there for you and you're a person regardless. And you're gonna they're gonna give you their blessing, okay? They just know I feel like they just don't know how to socialize. I don't see them being rude at all. But they're just not a they're not big talker. Like they don't socialize with people, they don't talk a lot. Okay, I may feel like they're just, just gotta go to the point and that's gotta be it, okay? Um, let's see what else is The eye princess again. I see something like they really are. I feel like the, the whoever those in laws are, I feel like they meditate a lot, or you just see them really like zen, really calm. Okay, um, they could have a lot of candles in their home, or just like whenever you enter their home, you see like it's really like a different energy. It's okay, um, yeah. You relate to themselves, and I feel like if you open up to them and tell them something really deep, really, um, it could be a secret or something really deep, I see them, like, keep it back to themselves. Like, the really good secret keeper, like, okay, for example, if you argue with your person for some reason, and you go to them, 
I feel like they gotta keep that to themselves, okay? And I'm gonna go like again, they're drama free people. Okay, like you could talk to them about anything, they're not gonna create drama, they're not gonna talk um talk behind your back or just spill your secrets, okay. And therefore I feel like this is this is the type of people that don't talk about drama, they don't necessarily know a lot about what's going on right now, like they just know the necessary and that's what it is, okay. I feel like you could talk about some drama or whoever you're dating could talk to them to their parents about some drama, but they they're like, Okay, I don't know what what you're talking about because they're drama free. They don't worry about that stuff, okay? They don't focus on that stuff. Um but yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you, pal. Too. I hope this was insightful for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, pal. Three last but not least. Let's see how will your future in law will be like. Okay, like I said for all the other pals, at first I was thinking about just talking about the parents, but in laws is in laws. It doesn't have to be just about the parents, but you see this as you will. I'm just mentioning that because I may pick up pick up on multiple people's energy. Okay. So you guys had a lot of cards, okay? So I'm gonna be try to be a little bit faster for you guys. I feel like this wherever those in-laws are, there's a lot of people. Okay, or there's a lot of different types of energy um even though it's the same family okay um i feel like there's a lot of different type of ages as well so as some numbers ages whatever you want to see them as i see 98 89 68 um three somebody could be three literally 56 65 95 65 50, 5, 42, 24, 30, 3 again, 6, and I see 9 as well, okay, so again, I feel like there's a lot of people, a lot of different ages type of people, okay, so yes, okay, the first card that we have is be at home okay wherever those in-laws are however how many they are you're gonna feel at home like they're gonna welcome you they're gonna treat you like their own child they're gonna treat you like you were always a part of their family okay you're gonna feel the love okay um you're, you're for sure gonna feel the love um set out the boundaries they're gonna be straight up with you i feel like they're gonna tell you like how they are how they work um but i don't feel like it's gonna be in a midway they're just gonna be like hey this is our family that's how we are that's how we work um <laughs> okay um make your dream as well i feel like this is like i feel like they could be huge manifesto you see them um they always they could tell you like stories about them wanting something and they manifest that stuff i feel like if you had dreams you talk to them about your dreams or certain goals you have they're gonna like give you advices share you on um try to help you out if they know about that um if they can help you about what you're trying to manifest or what you're trying to achieve, somebody could have parsing super random. Somebody could have glasses. Somebody could be swimming, love to swim. Maybe there is a pool in their home. Um, somebody could have a hearing piercing. Doesn't have to be exactly like this, but I see this. Or, ooh, I don't know why I see that, but I feel like some, um, they could have, how do you call this? Like family rings? Maybe it's something like a tradition that they pass on. But at first I saw as well, like, um, they all wear um, a matching jewelry to celebrate, like, how close they are. Like, you know how people get matching tattoos, matching teachers, um, teacher t-shirts. I can talk. Um, I feel like they have a matching ring or there's a family ring. Literally, like, that is past a ring or a jewelry that is passed on for, that it has been passed on, um, in the family for decades, okay, for a little bit. Um, overcoming obstacles, yeah, again, I feel like you, you're gonna see how much, I feel like they're, they have a lot of stories to tell, um, but I feel like they, it's really, they tell stories, but in a very entertaining way, like, they just don't talk to brag, they talk about, like, you see, like, um, 
to make people learn from their mistakes you see like hey if you want something you can have it okay like you can see from their stories or just from the way that they're um acting and themselves that they have been through a lot and um regardless of how much you've been through you're gonna see that whatever they have been through has hasn't made still in they're still being the best person that they can be okay um they don't let their past or whatever happened to them change them for the better okay yes i love this energy you guys we have you're never alone okay <laughs> i feel like i just see i just see a scenario in my head with you um in their home and the table is full there's a lot of people, a lot of different ages of people, type of people, and you're just like, I just see you like, if you visit them, <laughs> you're not going to be bored. Okay, I feel like um, you, I feel like they're never going to leave you alone. There's always going to be, there's some, somebody to be there to entertain you, to talk to you. Um, you're you're going to feel the love. <laughs> okay, you're going to feel like you're a part, you, always, you have always been part of their family, okay? I feel like, yeah, I don't know why I see children running. So again, the three, the nine, the six, the five. So I see there's a lot of type of people. I feel like they're just not going to invite the um, close family, but I feel like they're going to invite cousins, aunties, nieces, like the whole shebang, <laughs> okay? Um, Whether it's just your person presenting you as a date as a boyfriend girlfriend or whether you're they're gonna you're engaged whether you're gonna be married i feel like it's gonna be the same thing every time <laughs> okay um take a leap of faith yes you're you're not gonna see them being on guard like they're gonna welcome you with like i said they're gonna welcome you with open arms okay they're not gonna be judgmental i don't feel like you're judgmental whatsoever and you're gonna see that they're not gonna be judgmental with you okay they're gonna want to get to know you um they're not gonna be any shady stuff okay no drama they said foundation and i feel like even f just from the first encounter you're gonna have already built a very strong foundation with those people okay one long period like i feel like they're gonna want to keep up to date with you like with, whenever they're gonna talk to your family they're gonna ask about you as well like how you're doing or whenever for example if i don't know just an example but for example if their mom this your person's mom calls them they're gonna ask like hey can i talk to your girlfriend boyfriend like i want to know how they're doing like it's really genuine like you're it's like like i said it's like you're part of their family <laughs> okay it's really sweet Let's see what else. Page of Cup Pisces energy. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Sorry, if it cut out. I don't know where it cut out. It really cut randomly. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, once again, they're gonna be like the page of cups is somebody that gives an offer that is a really emotionally fulfilled and people may be interested in what you have i feel like people are gonna be jealous of your in-laws because not everybody has in-laws like that okay not everybody's summit is like that okay um yeah so people just whenever they're gonna have something to you uh, whether it's meet with you um to i don't know to make with you I, I just have this example um it's gonna be genuine genuine whatever they ask you to do whatever they ask from you whether it's to meet them or to do something for them it's gonna be genuine um i feel like this is up i feel like I, feel, I don't know why i say mom or it could be just a feminine energy it doesn't have to be a, f a woman i just see a feminine energy like they could just like literally make food randomly and bring it out for you guys to eat okay I just love this. Yes. And you're going to see it's genuine. Okay. It's genuine. King of Cups. Yes. There's a lot of um, maturity. Like you're going to feel connected on such a deep level with those people. You're going to see those people are not closed off. They're going to open to you. Like if they don't like something you did, they're going to tell you. If they love you, they like you, they appreciate you, they're going to let you know. You're going to see it in their energy. Okay, I feel like they're really honest people, especially when it comes to their emotions. Okay. 
I feel like this is a family that laughs together, that cries together, whatever the case may be. I don't see them being pissed ever. <laughs> if they get pissed, they get pissed together. Okay, you know what I mean? Let's see what else we have going on. I feel like they could be a lot of water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in this family, or they act like water signs, okay? Let's see. Five of Wands. This is somebody, this, those in laws are the type of family to just fight for each other, okay? They're not. Uh, they don't give up whether it's on themselves, but on um, each other as well. Okay, those people are fighters, okay? Maybe literally somebody boxes in the family, maybe. But I feel like metaphorically as well. More like metaphorically. Five of cups. We have two fives. Interesting. We have three. Uh, three fives, actually. You see that... Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, yeah, King of Pentacles, Four of Swords, yeah, Emperor. Um, I could ramble on with this pile for so long, guys, but you can see that this family has some had have have had some losses, whether it's like they literally found lost family members or they lost um I don't know, maybe money or whatever the case may be, you can feel like it brought them closer. Okay, they may be really successful whether or whether it's emotionally, financially, but you you can tell that it took them a long um, trip to get where they are now, okay? And you can see how grateful they are. Five of Swords, yeah, the Five of Swords to me in this second indicated me that somebody was could have been in debt. And you can see that it took them a while to get where they are now. Okay, they could have had some losses, maybe literally, they lost some family members, they lost money, they lost people. Um, but they work a lot for what to have what they have right now. And I feel like maybe this 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 in-laws are have money, but it, you can see that they're not materialistic because I feel like um the king of pentacles to me is somebody that has a lot of money, but if anything you read is spends that the king of pentacles is somebody that has money, a lot of money. But all he needs to know is that it has worked hard for what he has, okay? And if anything, he rather spends money on other people rather than on himself. And that's what I see this family as, okay? Just really generous. Not materialistic as well. Um, yeah, they really just celebrate life, okay? Um, yeah. Again, the Emperor Aries energy, you see that they haven't been through a lot, but they still stand on their own. Like, they still stand their own. Like, they protect their family uh, and whatever matters to them. And you're going to be part of that as well. Let's see what else. Before my camera possibly cuts off again. Let's see. What else do we have? I don't even need to pick more cards, but I want to be fair and picking from this deck as well. We have the Hermit for Glenergy. Hmm. Maybe you've been a lonely child. You've been always on your own, okay? Or maybe you feel you feel like you're going to be alone when you're going to meet this those in laws. But no, they're going to welcome you. They're going to feel that you're really to yourself, and they're going to like just welcome you okay you're gonna feel the love point blank period but you're gonna see that they really are independent okay they work for what they have okay point blank period let's see hmm. the devil capricorn energy hmm. why is the devil here tell me more about this devil Death and rebirth. Scorpion. Ooh. Scorpion energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Moon as well. Pisces energy. I'm not going to take all those cards that fell. Just the one that I felt drawn to pick. But... Yeah, I feel like 
Let me see. Yeah, maybe you're a lonely wolf, okay? Um, you're somebody that really stands on their own. And I feel like um, I see this ending. Whenever you're going to meet those in-laws, maybe you've been manipulated in the past. You could have been um, surrounded by toxic people. And you're really careful of who you surround yourself with. Um, so you have been working on your own, being single, focusing on your coins, and just being about yourself. Um... Just really being about yourself, keeping stuff to yourself. But with the moon, the moon also tells me that you're going to connect on a deep level with those people. You're going to connect on such a deeper level that you, you you probably never thought you could. Okay. You're going to see this, those in-laws as, as your family. And they're going to treat you like that. They want to feel it like this is your home as well. And I feel like they can tell that you've been through a lot. Okay with your energy once again those people have been through a lot so they can read people's energy they can know what's up let's see page of one i just see you like reinventing yourself like just showing your bright side um just being bringing a better side of you just thanks thanks to those people queen of swords again okay so this queen of swords doesn't want you to appear queen of swords never energy you brought gemini aquarius but I feel like at first you're going to be really cold with them because you don't know if you can trust them. But I see you just slowly but surely opening up with them, um, to them, okay? Just being your natural self with those people. I feel like at first you're not going to open up emotionally, but I feel like with time you're just going to know you can trust them. Yes, as I say that, the queen of the king of cups um, shows up. So yeah, clarification to me that what I was saying was right, but yeah. Six of Swords, Gemini Energy, Six of Wands, Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this, those people, whatever there's something happening, whether it's you or your person, yeah, as I say, your person, the lovers. Could be, it could be with a Gemini with a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius with a Gemini, doesn't matter, okay? But I just see you five just as if you were their five member. And I feel like this, those people, those in-laws are going to bring you to success. You're going to learn that you need to let go of something, whether it's a thought pattern, a person, a job, something that no longer serves you. And that this, whoever you're going to meet, those in-laws that you're going to meet are going to bring you to your success, okay? Um, you're going to fight. You're going to fight, find a new cause, new people to fight for and them as well, okay? But yeah, that's it. That's what I see for about three. I hope this was in Safi, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.